Did Russia send captured javelins to Iran? Well, it's not just javelins. It's also stingers and Enlil missiles as well. And in return, Russia received 160 Iranian drones. So could Iran reverse engineer these missiles? I mean, probably, but it might not be that big of a deal. Stinger anti-aircraft missiles use technology from the 1980s. In fact, the design is so old that when Raytheon was asked to build new Stinger missiles, they had to redesign the Seeker because the components just weren't built anymore. Now the Javelin is still being built, but it uses technology from the 1990s. Now the Enlaw is newer, but at the end of the day, it's really just a short range anti-tank missile with a higher probability of hit. Weapons get captured all the time in war. Just look at this captured German V2 rocket in London's Trafalgar Square. But reverse engineering, research and development is easy. It's manufacturing that's hard. Tesla announced a Cybertruck in 2019. And they still haven't figured out how to manufacture it at scale. The advantage of high-tech weapons isn't just the tech. It's production at scale, and that's still an edge retained by NATO.